Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Today is June the 5th. Yes, June the 5th. And today we celebrate the uh, Hiram Martyr Dorotheus, Bishop of Tyre, and his troparian, O Dorotheus, wise hierarch of Christ. You receive the light of wisdom as a gift from the Father of lights. You increase the talents given to you, and in your old age, contested beyond the bounds of nature. And now, O Hiram Martyr, you even intercede for our souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's say hello to uh, Christina. Seems like old times. I know. Well, let me know when you get tired and sick of me. Oh, <laughs> never okay. happened. Oh. Well, all right, so let's see. Are you ready for the scriptures this morning? Yes, I am. Good. All right, so let's start with St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 8 through 19. Let's open our Bibles at page 1606, verse 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Amen. Oh, what a beautiful way to start the day. With these words. She's Hello. just like me. I tell you, she gets into that, <laughs> opens that Bible up, and it's like a kid in a candy shop. She loves it all. <laughs> yes, you know, it's it's good to start the day, and you mean, I I get to meet, and this this is a blessing, and it 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 strengthens me. I meet all kind of people from all walks of lives and mentalities, and I keep these words in my heart, and I'm I'm able to. Well, let's just say like this, I don't get anyone angry <laughs> at me. <laughs> <laughs> to stay, to keep people calm. All right, let's 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 see what St. Matthew says this morning. Uh, let's go to, to chapter 18, verses 10 through 20. Oh, uh, hold on, page 1303. This is the word of our Lord. Verse 10, Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that in heaven their angels always See the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. What do you think? If a blind man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he, have, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is stray, straying? And if he should find it, assuredly, I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Even so it is, even so it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. And if he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, take with you one or two more that, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses 
every word may be, as, may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I there, I, I am there in the midst of them. This is the word of our Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, you explained a few months ago, I believe, this little last phrase, for there, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. And you gave a little different explanation than what is generally perceived. Right. That, if two, that is one I, of the most misquoted verses in the Bible. Okay. okay. Um, and every, everyone misquotes it, just about everyone, even priests and bishops and all. You know, yes, Christ is with us. Wherever two or three are gathered, Christ is with us. Actually, Christ is with us, period. Okay, period. With that, Christ is uh, wherever two or three are gathered. If you look at the context of the whole thing, what's he speaking about? He's speaking about um, discipline within the church. So when the church leaders are making decisions, and they're coming together to make decisions about uh, someone or something going on in the church, wherever two or three are gathered to to consider um, this problem within the church, Christ is there with them to help them make that good decision. So, you know, and everyone, like I said, has taken it out of context and made it mean something else. Yeah, the first thing I always ask when they say, well, our two or three are gathered, I'm in your midst. Well, how about if there's only one of you? Is Christ there? Yeah, he's there with you. Yeah, but if you strictly you? read that according to that taken out of context, it takes two or three to be in your midst. No, he's talking about something entirely different. Wow. About discipline in the church. You have to look at the whole context where it is. What comes before, what comes after. So, there it is. All righty. So, let me see. Oh, let's say uh, let's hello to everybody. And, uh, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, two things happened when I left church yesterday. One, I did remember to bring home the uh, prayer list. Prayer. Prayer. Of course, the prayer list goes on the altar uh, on Sundays during the liturgy. What a great day to have it on the altar, Feast of Pentecost. But I yeah. forgot it at church, so I'm sorry for that. So we won't have that this morning. And the second thing that happened was as I was leaving church, someone gave me a great, great, wonderful gift. And here it is. Hey. Okay. Someone asked, okay. came out with this little note. Please pray for Janine Waller, who's suffering from colon cancer. And uh, she's going to have to have surgery and then chemotherapy. Please pray for her husband, John, and her daughters, Bridget and Adele. Well, Lord, uh, I want to thank that person so much. Okay. For a wonderful gift. Why is this a wonderful gift? Because it accomplishes two things for me. One, um, it allows me to serve my Lord, my God, who wants me, who commands me to pray for others. Right. And two, it, it gives me the chance, the opportunity to show my love for my fellow man. Two wonderful gifts, the opportunity to serve Christ, the opportunity to serve my fellow man. What a wonderful gift. You know? Amen. So that's the way I consider it anyway. So Lord, we do pray for Janine Waller, who's suffering from cancer. Lord, we pray that you heal her through that surgery and that chemotherapy. We pray for her husband, John, and we pray for her daughters, Bridget and Adele. 
Bring them your peace, Lord, and comfort. Amen. 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 So we also have Katerina Tsalas, who gives us the uh, opportunity to pray for her grandmother, who's going through a heart procedure today. And Lord, we pray that Katerina's grandmother gets through that procedure well, and is successful, and all goes well. We pray for that. Amen. So see, folks, when you ask, ask for prayers, you're giving someone an opportunity, the chance, the opportunity to serve God and to serve your, his fellow man. Whoa, what a wonderful gift that is. Okay. Oh, by the way, Karen Kurlanovich survived her birthday. <laughs> Yay! And uh, her son will be, uh, and family will be flying back. I don't know when they're flying back to Tennessee. They live, I think it's in Cleveland, Tennessee. But we pray for uh, safe travels. We pray for that. Amen. And mm -hmm. speaking of safe travels, Maria Fenton is on with us this morning. She's from Ocala, Florida, St. Basil's Church. And um, now she won't be traveling that I know of, but her priest, Father Demetrios, has traveled from Ocala over to Greece to be with his uh, sick brother. And uh, so, Lord, we pray for a fruitful visit, health, a return to health for his brother, and for Father Demetrius, safe travels. Amen. Amen. And there's Ruthie Johnson and Ruthie. Good morning. And uh, Ruthie Johnson says, I wanted to ask if you would please add a longtime friend of mine to your prayer list. Her name is Mary. And Mary just found out she has breast cancer. And uh, Mary lost her husband a few years ago, and it's been a difficult time for her. She is such a woman of faith, always praying for others. And I know she would appreciate it if we prayed for her as she starts her battle. And yes, Lord, we pray for Ruthie's uh, friend, Mary. We pray to your Lord that... Uh, you help her through this struggle. We pray to your Lord that you heal her. We pray for that. And we pray for her family, that you give them comfort at this trying time. Amen. So let's see what else. Let me see here. Ruthie Johnson, Karen Karlanovich, good morning, Stephen. Sweet prayer family. It's a blessing to be with all of you and to say that my birthday celebration was very blessed and joyful. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you all as well for your w prayers and your birthday wishes for me, too. And uh, let me see. Now, over here, today we have a, a, a an anniversary, a wedding anniversary. Earl and Vicki Winter are, are celebrating 47 years together. Wow. Wow. Well, Lord, yeah. we, we pray for, for that wonderful couple, Vicki and Earl Winter over there in Frank and uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, that they have many, many more joyful and fruitful years together. For that we pray. Amen. And let me see here. Going on. Oh, yesterday was Debbie Owens and uh, Matt Owens um, anniversary. So we wish them a, also wish them a happy anniversary. Of course, Karen Karlinovich's birthday yesterday. Oh, wow. A lot of stuff going on. See, Joyce Marie is here. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Elioni is with us this morning. Christ is in our midst. He yeah. is and forever shall be. Good morning, Steve, Joyce, Christina, Jonathan, Robin, and everyone. Violetta, good morning. Good morning, Steve, and to the praying, praying family. Amen. Catherine Houston's back from New York and Connecticut. Glad to have her back. Thank you, Lord, for bringing her home safely. Amen. And Arthur Bethea over there in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Good morning, Arthur. And he says, have a blessed day. Amen. Well, Arthur, we started the day out with you, so it's got to be a, off on a good foot. Yes. And there's Amber Tremaine, and she has a couple of cups of coffee there this morning. That's our cue. You have your uh, coffee? Yeah. Oh. No, I brought it in the kitchen. Oh. I didn't. Oh. But I made it. You know what? I just didn't drink it. Okay, I'll have a second sip for you. Thank you. Coffee and Jesus. 
We'll not do that. <laughs> All righty, going on. Uh, Amber Tremaine, good morning. And uh, let me see. Do Oh, we got to go here. Lisa Edsel McCraw from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Juliette Sabunia, Boston, Massachusetts. Good morning to all the prayer family. And of course, Lord, we pray for Juliet's sister, Jessica. And uh, she has fallen asleep, Lord, and we pray that she, you have mercy on her soul and that she has found eternal life with you. For this we pray. And Lord, we pray that you comfort that family. We pray for that. Amen. And Mary Mary's Market from Spring Valley, Illinois, St. Mark's. Good morning. And let me see here. Jonathan Nichols. Good morning. He has... Where did he skip to here? Oh, he had three cups of coffee. Good morning, Jonathan. And, uh, do, 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 do. okay, there. Anybody join us over here? Karen Kalanovich, please pray for me to recover from sun exp exposure for the days. It's not been good for me with lupus, so I need to recover. As yeah, she's been out in the sun, you gotta be careful, Karen. Be careful, Lord, we pray that she has a quick recovery from that sun exposure. We pray for that. Amen. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, it is. Uh, Ruthie, you know what Ruthie did? She put a cup <laughs> of coffee in there. Oh, thank uh, you. Oh, Ruthie. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Let me see here. I don't want to forget anybody. I think we got everyone. Oh, All righty. Okay. So, would uh, oh, where's my prayer book? Here it is. My oh, prayer book. Haven't... My prayer book is falling apart. I gotta repair it. <laughs> no, what I think I'll do or try anyway is I have double-sided tape, and uh, so I'll put a little tape yeah. in there. And Not even have my. So how did you do that? I understand my prayer book is getting like that. What's your excuse? <laughs> So I'm going to try the double tape and see what happens. Okay. Uh, oh. All right. Well, it just shows it's well used. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Would you like to hear the meditation this morning? Yes. All right. It's not long. St. John Kronstadt says this. Revere every work, every thought of the word of God, of the writings of the Holy Fathers, and amongst them the various prayers and hymns which we hear in church or which we read at home, because they are all the breathing and words of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. See what I was telling you, that, that I keep the words with me during the day? I manage to go through some stuff? Yeah. God works. All right, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God. Glory to Thee. O Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, 
through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear, let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wrath with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God, glorified in all and by all, the Eternal Father, who thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless the Theotokos who are ever blessed, and all blameless and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious, beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos. We magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all these days to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly, in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now, a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Now, uh, Rob King's with us this morning. Just joined in. He's back there. Sitting right next to him is Pablo Acosta in the annex. Way, way back there, folks. Way back there. <laughs> and uh, Rob says his buddy Mike is back in the hospital with MRSA. Uh, so prayers, please. Yes, Lord, we pray for, for Rob's friend Mike. We've been praying for him daily, Lord. He's back in the hospital. We pray, dear Lord, that you get him well. He's had a tough time over the past several months, Lord. And we pray that you ease his pain and suffering. For this we pray, Lord. Amen. And we Amen. pray for his family and friends as well who are very anxious. Amen. And also joining us is our buddy. <laughs> Rob says, oh, you caught me sneaking in back there. <laughs> and and yeah. Pablo Acosta is with us this morning. And you know, Pablo's father was pretty sick and we were praying for him. I think he had pneumonia. So Lord, oh. and he was in the hospital too. So Lord, we pray for Pablo and his dad. We pray for good health for them, especially his father, Lord. And uh, we, we pray for good health for that family and comfort. Amen. And so, now as I said, and some of you missed it, like Rob King who came in late. Back there, yeah, way back there. Uh, oh, no mercy here. Oh, we got another prayer request over here, but just a second. Uh, okay, let's do Ruthie Johnson, prayer request, please. Katie, my daughter just called and said she was in the ER all night with a kidney stone. Ooh, prayers for relief from pain and that the stone passes quickly. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we pray for Katie. Oh, oh that's the... Oh, I, I now I have, you know, I've never had a kidney stone, so I, I can't tell you if it helped painful it is but and i'm told it is very painful and lord we pray we pray for katie that you ease her pain now katie's husband andy and those two kids their own oh, mom is in the hospital you know those kids are really young so lord we we pray that you comfort them and give them every assurance that mama katie will be home soon and well uh -huh. we pray for that amen so you're off to work Oh, yes. yes, this is what I was going to remember. Uh, I, I, I told you once before, but I, I'll repeat it. Uh, I left our prayer prayer list at church yesterday. And uh, so uh, we won't have the prayer list this morning, but you know your prayers with me. And the prayer list is right there in front of the altar right now. <laughs> so it's right before the Lord. So there you go. All righty. So... I want to thank you so much. Two things she's reminded me, folks. Well, you brought it up. What are they? Well, number one is that God loves us, and he really, really does. And number two is that we love each other, and we really, really love you. And we have number three again. We can go on and on. God loves us, and he really does. Yeah. Number four, we love each other, and we <laughs> love you. Keep going. Yeah, we can keep <laughs> on going forever. So, well, thank you so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, oh, tonight, yes. uh, uh, can you be with the activists tonight? I don't remember what you said. Probably not. No, I have a customer now. Okay. At uh, the beginning of the activists, but I won't, I mean, because I have kids. Right? Yeah, okay. Look on my back. So I'll tell them. you what I'll do. I'll send you an invitation. Okay. And if you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. Oh, this sounds great. This sounds yeah. great. Okay, no. so there's that. Oh, yeah, perfect. And, All right. and I'll send Robin an invitation. i got to blow my nose here. Well, That's the all of... cancer yeah. tonight. Can okay. Well, yeah. yes, I Cancer tonight. So, there we go. Uh, all right. I'm all cleaned up. There we go. <laughs> all right. So, we'll see you all tonight for our, our activists for the healing of cancer. And uh, so, until mm -hmm. tonight, may God bless us all. Let's have a great day in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto